and a counter pick so that you don't give the shields over to the side of evil. Ha, I love this. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Mm. But now, if you pick the Lolita, you give the Luminum Blast over to evil as well. So it's kind of like a multiple choice question, but A and B, they look similar. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along, there's probably this one comma that could change everything, right? But yep. evil, take a look at the band. That is a huge Selena. nod to 505. 505 is a a, a crazy Selena Absolute player. monster. Absolute monster, and evil took it away. And not only just that, it's a potential hero that they could pick for countering the Valentina. Right, 100%. Evil understood what went yeah, wrong. They need it. vision control, they need jungle control, and that is what they're lacking. So evil, picking up that Balmon, banning out that Selena, oh. leaving no hands over. 505, going back to El Clasico, the Lunox picked up. Oh my goodness, the Lunox picked up by the other side of our SGSG. Wow, I know someone is definitely going to be elated seeing this. Going into MPL Singapore, I believe this is also the very first uh, Lunox for the side of MPL Singapore as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Lunox, very powerful. There's so, so much outplay potential that you could use. And not only just that, this Lunox going into Darkening Chaos shots will counter the Bowman. You counter the Esmeralda who, you know, if you, it's easy, so easy to burst down these two heroes with just these Lunox. And now Evo on the other hand. Yep, there you go. Something to counter that Fanny. The Kufra goes in and even that Clint. What I like about this Lunox pick is a anti-tank mage. Yep. So basically, just jump right in, do your combo, do your thing. You're able to melt with your darkness. Um, either powerful or Jaces or even Melon for that matter. Carrot picking up that Kufra is trying to create a set of opportunities for evil. Mm -hmm. uh, but what they ex especially need is someone to be able to be confident in the jungles of RSG. That's correct. Because you have the Bowman, you are able to secure the objectives. Yep. And you should secure the objectives. Yep. If you lose out on the early game turtles, that's going to be a problem right off the bat. Yep. But Lawsy is really there thinking of it. There the Atlas picked up by Lawsy. This is going to be fun. All right, let me break down the trial for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Evil, on the other hand, this is a very classic cl uh, clash composition. You have the Kufra to set it up, uh, Coconut to play from the back foot. It's powerful and also JS to try to hold down the line. Melon is here to, to put a little bit of havoc against RSG side of drop, taking away Atlas's ultimate or even taking away the Dyrox's ultimate. But on the other side, RSG, this is a very, it's like a pick potential. We pick person one by one. We using the fan to go to the back line to find a clean, back out one by one. Yeah, using the Kufra to, to really counter this Fanny from flying around. This is going to be an exciting, exciting game. What do you think? Well, this is, I mean, this is a classic one, right? Yep. We're going to go into it. I think Jace did a great job of just breaking it down. We're going to go into match two. This is RSG versus Evil. RSG is up 1-0. Can Evil come back? That is going to be the biggest one. Are they able to do it, especially with this matchup? Yep. You know, I mean, we're going to see some new heroes. I, I, again, I think that the, the, the Lunox, uh, the Atlas, I like that combination right there. It's something that's going to be interesting how they play this one out, but it's all about the Fanny, right? Yeah, starting off, let's take a look at what is different about this. The drafts, again, in my opinion, Evil won the draft. Because you have the Valentina, you have the control. You can take uh, the Fatal Links coming in from Lawsy's Atlas and counter everything around. So both teams have equal opportunity in this point in time to turn things around. Evil right now has the early game potential to be as aggressive as they want to be. It's like one side you have like the Valentina, you have the Esmeralda. I mean, it, those are great, right? But then on the other side, you see Beatrix, the Fanny, the Dyra, and even the Atlas, which I, I I'm I'm a huge fan of. I, I just feel like this is actually kind of a mixed bag for me. I, I feel like it's way more even than we think of. But as I say that, 505 does get knocked up. He does need to be careful. Carry gonna just roll in there, but yeah, 505 is gonna get away here. He's gonna be safe right now, but Bray coming real deep into Coconut's territory right now might be looking in for a early game pick off from the side of RSGSG. This will enable them to snowball effectively into the late game. 
Oh, oh but look coconut. at the bottom lane, though. Coconut was taking up massive oh, damage. They did man. go in. Bray actually went under the turret, so he took a lot of damage there. Coconut just got to safety at the last minute. He sh I mean, again, it was one of those things where did, it, did I expect a kill? Probably not, especially at this stage. But 505, speaking of oh. which, he does get blasted. The lethal counter is going to be on point, and they throw him oh, back. Man. And they've gotten lossy. No, in a bad spot. Bray is here. He's trying to cable at least continue in. But it looks like, okay, yeah, retreat, sir. Oh, this is a different evil right off the bat. You see the Uno reverse straight away coming in from Melon, which is what we talked about. Melon, level four, quickly, and just pulls Lawsy back in. First blood, get your code right there and then. Diablo there, almost getting out, but not enough. He will be taken down by Melon. Evil. Evil, evil. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's baby steps, right? Yes, it's only two minutes, and I'm sure RSG's like, hey, it's not a big deal. But considering the last game where they were not able to secure a single turtle, they were completely pushed back. I mean, all of the lanes were run in RSG's way. But in this case, evil have figured something out, and they're, this is starting to work. Well, I'm more of a good kind of person, if you if you know. No, I, I, I know you. And uh, from what I've seen, you're definitely not. But, you know, oh, it so, is yeah. what it is. Yeah, it's maybe. a persona at this page, right? Yeah, but it's... <laughs> It's, it's definitely a different song right now. Let's take a look at the emblems. But oh, Melon gets taken down by Bray. Carrot in a spot of bother right there. Bray oh, does Bray. take him out in the process, though. We didn't see that on camera, though. It's oh, uh, you can't get away from the fanny no, at this no, stage, no right? Way. The cable is just too much. But that's two, you know. I mean, two kills going the way of Bray. That's something that you don't want to be. But let's talk about the emblems. Let's talk about the emblems right now, Fanny, with the high and dry. So whenever you're alone, best be sure Fanny's gonna take you down straight, uh, right off the bed. Bauman with the Demon Slayer. Powerful. Speaking of that, Bauman just takes down Lawsy in the process. Yeah, Lawsy was uh, overcommitted, I would say. He was just definitely in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Uh, Powerful made sure he paid for that. But as I said, that JS goes down. Speaking of being in the wrong spot, but Diablo got, does good trade for that one. Not the worst thing in the world, but Bray now has to defend the mid lane all by himself. Is he able to do so? Yeah, easily. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. First turtle goes over to the side of Evil. Let's take a look at the items real quickly. So the marksman is the one to look out for. So Clint already picking up that uh, endless battle so far. But Lozzy in a spot of bother right there. Not able to get away. I mean, it's one of those things where you get caught out. There was three members on top of you, and it's pretty much all she wrote. So Lozzy going down for there. Oh, man. Evil is setting the tone, setting the pace for this game. RSG is succumbing to their every momentum. This is a totally different evil from what we've seen in the previous games. Carrot providing a lot of vision, really playing as a unit. This is the unit that we're very, very much used to in Season 2, where your mid lane, your jungle, as well as your uh, your roam position is traveling as a unit. This unit is able to take down any objectives that you have in your jungle. Definitely, definitely. And I can feel it. Like, evil are like, hey, we've got nothing to lose. This is the second game. We already lost once, right? I don't want to do that again. Let's try something different. But JS getting, ooh, very oh. low. And he uh, he's fine for now. But they did get the turtle, so that's a good trade for them. But Powerful looking to fight. He does go down. Bray cables away to safety after killing Powerful. So that that's a massive win for RSG. Yes, massive win for RSG. They, they lost the turtle, but they take down two in the process. M keeping this momentum, they are able to come back up on top again. But let's take a look at the late game potential for both teams. Evo definitely has a lot more late game potential. Look at the Esmeralda. That is insurance. Look at the Valentina. It's able to steal anything that you have in RSGSG. For RSGSG, you need to be looking out for the early game. You need to clear them out early. But Baby Cakes on this side is getting the most gold so far. A second... This coconut's not so far ahead, and yeah. not so far behind. Not actually. so far behind you. You're right, and it's one of those things where, yeah, RSG have died five times, but I mean they've gotten five kills on their own. But baby cakes, they have not actually stunted the growth of what baby cakes has been able to do in the bottom lane. He, she, she's been almost farming free freely, but as I say, that carrot oh. does get dashed, does get knocked away. The flicker to safety, Diablo is fine, but Melon killed on the other end does go down. This is what exactly uh, Jay's was talking about just now. So. You give up Coconut in the early game, and you try your best to tackle onto Diablo, choke him out, make him useless, especially in the mid game, so that you go through all the objectives. But one what I pointed out was that Powerful had a lower goat lead than Bray, yeah. whereas he is the one taking all of the objectives. Bray taking up so many kills in the process, but RSGSG not able to convert as much or as fast as we hoped the objectives. Ooh, the oh, the jump! Nice. Oh! And they've got the two-man stun. Lousy. <laughs> oh, he's looking to go down. 
He had no real way to get away from that one, but Bray, they end up getting JS on that one. Uh, it looks like Baby Kicks is down. Diablo's very low as well, and that's a pretty decent trade. I'll take that. A decent trade, but an amazing play. What a sight for sore eyes, man. Oh, Carrot just jumps right in out of nowhere, slams onto two. Very nicely played, very nicely played, and that's exactly what Evil want to do. Yes, they're behind in terms of kills, but the net worth is a little bit of a wash, but Powerful will take the turtle. Bray, I thought, was going to go for the steal. Carrot, ooh, getting slowed here. Doesn't need to be careful. I think Carrot will perish in the end, but now Powerful's looking to duel with Bray, and this Bray is still going way for it. too much. And Bray, I think you went a little too far, sir. He cables. <laughs> At least is he's fine for now, but man, Bray, take it to the limit. This guy has so much confidence right now. He's able to go straight in. Lawsy oh, with the fatal links. The two man stun. Oh. And now <laughs> Lawsy will go down. JS goes down as well. And that's going to be a nice trade. 505 will secure the one on JS. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was okay. That was funny. That was funny. You're going to pull me back in. I'm going to pull you back in. <laughs> that was a funny play. But at the end of the day, both teams are pretty much equal in that trade because two members from both teams are out. Let's take a look at the instant replay for the side of both teams right now. So the jump from Carrot sets up two members and Powerful quick to jump right in. And then I think it was Melon trying to do that Uno reverse and they really identified the win condition, tries to go for Baby Kicks as much as possible. I didn't, I don't know if Carrot knew that Baby Kicks was in there or he was just checking the brush because that's what a Kufra should do. But identifying the right heroes and taking them out in the process really turned things around. No, that was the perfect play, right? I, 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 I'm pretty sure he did it blind, which makes it more impressive at the end of the day. It was that whole game sense. Yeah, yeah. So, somebody's going to be here and I'm going to make sure that they pay with their lives. He did that and they, they, they ended up doing quite well for that. But yeah. now, let's talk a little bit about this Bray. I feel like, uh, the, you know, the 601 is just a little bit out of control at this stage. Yeah. And uh, rightly so, because Fanny really scales fast into the late game. What you want to do as a Fanny is to pick off heroes, and that is precisely what he did. All these six kills were easy pickoffs, and the rest of RSGSG is trying to coagulate. A concealed play coming in from Lousy. Oh, but powerful. Oh. Both of them get knocked back. Powerful continue to fight the grenades. Just launching on top of that. There's just so much collateral damage. Carrot has been down. Lousy's up next. Powerful's on. And uh, how are we going to... We're going to have to CSI all the bodies at this point. But it looks like it's a four versus one. Oh, man. A misplay coming in from Evil. They tried to uh, come back and counter the engage coming in from RSGSG. But Lousy really taking out Coconut. Taking out their damage dealer for the, the side of Evil. Yeah, I think that, that we need to see the replay on that one. That was yeah, that was just too good. Look at the conceal play coming up from Lousy, just aiming coconut. There's nowhere to oh. go and taking out, just vaporizing in the process. Once that is done, even Melon tries to post back in, but to no avail because you don't have that damage that you need to take anyone down in the process. Oh, that was just so good. I mean, that was it, good. This is why RSG are where they are, right? <laughs> like the team fight, the ability to get those multi-man stuns, you have the damage on top. Everybody and your moms are like helping to back you up in that <laughs> fight. I mean, like everybody's there. That's exactly what you want as a team. Everybody and your moms. That is Your mom's so. not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. You want your mom to be able to come in, so you have to protect. Okay, so we're changing from protect the present to protect your mom, but let, let's get back into the game. Let's keep focus. Lousy pulls in Jasis and takes them out. This is basically a team fight strategy, but Lousy's going for easy pickoffs right there. This is the momentum that RSG really needs. Yeah, and they're taking the turrets and they're just doing what everything they want at will. I mean, RSG has just completely turned this around. It was a very neck and neck game, but then all of a sudden RSG are like, hey, let's go up to the, the seventh gear. And then, you know, Evil have not been able to match that. No, and, and, and the Fact, the fact that you picked up that Bowman and able to secure all the early game objectives, you have three turtles, you lost the Lord. Yeah. That speaks a lot of a problem. You need yeah. to be able to uh, make the first move. I thought that Carrot came out of the ground mm -hmm. and made great plays. Right. But then as soon as we've seen that, it's basically just falling back. And back to their passive ways. This is not where they want to be. True, very true, very true. And powerful, where can Powerful find you on social media, Churros? Uh, at Ryan Churros. Okay, so uh, powerful. Come at Ryan Churros. Uh, you know, DM him and just make sure that you uh, let him know your thoughts on your on his play. <laughs> you, well, you want to? I, I, I thought you said you want to teach him how to use a retribution. <laughs> no, no, you no. You want to no. teach him how to use? No, 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 no. I would never say something like that. That clearly sounds something. 
like churros would say. But I'm let's slow things down <laughs> right now because RSG just waiting in the brush. Yeah, yeah. This is, I mean, just playing patiently. You don't need to do anything. I mean, you have full map control. Mm -hmm. And 40 seconds to the Lord. Again, you're in prime position right now. Maybe you steal this Molten Fiend. I mean, that's pretty much a given at this point, considering they don't expect that. Yeah, it looks like they're going to do that and cheekily walk away. Take a look at this. 30 seconds in, already setting up for that Lord. RSGSG knows that this is the tipping point for the side of evil, and you need to secure that Lord. It is going to be interesting how they do that Lord dance, because the Carrot jumps right into the fray onto Lolzy. Oh, Lolzy, yeah. yeah they're but gonna gets back, back out. He's fine. Yeah. He's tanky enough at this stage. I mean... No, I, I, because no, no, every single know. time I saw Carrot, like right now he built up my anticipation <laughs> to a lot of these great plays. And yeah, I yeah, just yeah, got yeah. turned off. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you got turned off as opposed to turned on at this stage. <laughs> but you know what it is, what it is. Let's go to the Lord here. This is okay. going to be started by Evil here. And they've got backside. Uh, Diablo is getting a little bit low. He flickers to safety. Well, I'm backside Bangies five here, members. Nice man. Three oh, man. Oh. Oh. Point. Carrot down. Powerful as well. Bray is just cleaning it up. Clean up in aisle two, sir, because the Lord is going to be taken, and Bray is 10-0-2 at the 12-minute mark. What was that out of nowhere? Lousy with the four-man fatal links, and they had it just to clear them all the way out. Yeah, this is looking very bad. Evil need to figure out some... Yeah, you got the stun, but Melon will be fine, but he just backs up. He does get the kill on 505, so that's something. So it's going to slow his top. But now Melon looking to trade with his life. He does go down. Bray is going to take that, and it looks like it's going to be the base. That's going to be game two going the way of RSG as they clean up in style. So GG RSG, what a play. What a play from Lawsy. What do you think, Jace? What is going on right now in your head? quite good but to be honest with you I'm not too sure what happened during the cast you guys both are like what, what mummy